Sucker by shaking, shake, shake. Butter is shaking, shake, shake. My own is shaking, shake, shake. She's somebody shaking, shake, shake. Young sons is shaking, shake, shake. Then got it shaking, shake, shake. My name is Farah Italian Makatin. I am the head teacher of Diligence Academy. I finished my diploma in education at Marymount Teachers College in 2018. My name is Rubiza Ichikako. I am also the co-founder of Diligence Academy. I did my diploma in primary education at Zimbabwe Open University here in Mutari. I finished my diploma in education in 2018. Mr. Okay. Makateni is my husband. Right. Our school, Diligence Academy, is located in Kimbok South, a suburb which is found in Dangambura, in Mutare, now in Manikali, Zimbabwe. The Academy started in 2019, in May. Uh, we just discovered that there was a, a need for a school one day when we were just walking. We passed it through the, uh, the, the location and that's when we discovered that we are qualified teachers and we are not employed. And there, are so, there were so many, a lot of kids who were just running around the street, up and down, not going to school. During that, school hours. Yes, yeah, it, it was during school days. It was on Monday, yes. if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. When we passed through going to Matimba. <clears throat> so that's when we discovered that there is a need for school. Mm -hmm. Mamtari. Welcome to the about 15 kilometers away from the, our area. And we decided how can we start? We did not have uh, resources, we did not have any materials. And we approached a friend who is also a teacher. Because he, she told us that he, uh, her father has got a stand in the Gimboki. At first, we had only four kids. Yes, four learners. Four learners. Then, after about a month or so, more learners started to chip in, chip in. By the time we closed, end of and second term, we had down yes. About 15 learners. Yes, about the 15 learners. Uh, by Towards, by the end of last year, uh, all our learners were, I mean, 26. Yeah, 26, then 26. Yes. Um, <coughs> here at the Diligent Academy, we have, we cater for the junior and the infants. If I say infants, I'm talking about the ECD to grade 2, juniors from grade 3 to grade 7. But so far, we are still at the beginning, so we only have grade 5. We don't have grade 6 and 7 yet. I have the infants are 29 and the juniors are 18. <coughs> infants, ECDs. This is where ECD is. Yes, there are about the 15, mm -hmm. 15 of them. And this one here, uh, 
is where grade is four and five winners. This is their classroom. They share uh, most of the charts. My marshal in June shortage in my textbook. You see, the Jagata Macomb, you see, 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 you we have a lot of challenges at our schools. The first one being that we don't have enough resources like textbooks. That's the major challenge that we have. Especially now that there, there is a new curriculum. Most of the textbooks that we had, especially last year, were those of outdated curriculum. The new curriculum, the books, they are going for how much? Four dollars. Four dollars. A book like this one, which is not an original book. You see? And uh, that man, four dollars US, it's a lot of money here in Zimbabwe. And considering that, uh, uh, the learners that we have, most of them are vulnerable learners. Uh, most of them do not, cannot even afford to pay the little amount of school fees that we charge. So it's a very big challenge that we have of textbooks. Um, another challenge. There is no water. There is no water here. Yes, in the bowl. You go and fetch water in the bowl or in the streams. We use buckets to go and fetch water. There is no tap water here. Especially in the spring, the situation will be very, very difficult. You find it, uh, the parents, most of them, they spend their the time, the whole day, in queue for water. And they, we, sometimes we send uh, learners to fetch water there. Uh, the parents, uh, the, the, the community, they understand us. So most of the times they give them the opportunity to fetch and come back to school quickly. Um, but uh, water also is a major challenge here in Kibofu. <coughs> and also toilets. We use delay toilets. There is no toilet system <coughs> Then another challenge, the kids who came here to school, some of them, they come from families which are very poor. They come to school without food for, break, for breakfast. So at first we used to prepare food for them. We cook the sata and vegetables, then we give them. And by that time you had discovered that a lot of learners, you find no one absent during that time. Yes. And they came in numbers. But due to uh, <coughs> due to difficult situation even here at school uh, <coughs> we no longer afford to cook food for them so most of them dropped out after they discovered that there is no more food. food yes given at the school some of the learners you find they could not come to school every day because of hunger yeah. These teachers are different from other teachers. No put a bad thing given away to Sukumania, Ukatara now, one of the sisters. Saka, please, Tinitatanga teaching of Kumbira, Yedu, could it call it, Tinotaris, could it in the Mbe, could it not as a good in the secondaries?
as time goes on, my primaries, my uniform, my parents are Kukundikana, Kutenga, Eta Sira Kuti, Tizuwa Noma, School Boys, and my games of Kuti Tinenga Tichkombe on his room as Koro, Chiseku Kurako Kuita Chkombe. Please help me with a pen, an exercise book, and one pound so that I can continue with my education. Thank you. Every child has a decent future. <laughs> 